Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Marriage Mondays, where we spend Mondays talking about marriage. My name is Amir. My name is Kamara. And today, we're going to play a game. Question, Question of, of the, the week. week. Do you think Marriage Monday is coming back next week? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the game is called Surviving Marriage in the 21st Century. Um, it's a card game that is paired with a book. All right. Yeah, so my mom sent me this book. It's called Surviving Marriage in the 21st Century. It's by... Rufus and Jenny Triplett. We're gonna be playing the game that uh, they created. It has um, a lot of questions related to marriage and um, I think it pretty much just tries to uh, start a conversation. Yeah, it says 99 questions to start a conversation. So the rules of the game, we're not really gonna play by the rules, so no yeah. point in me reading it. Tamara or I will read a question and then we'll both answer it. And we've got a huge deck of cards. Go first. Are you answering the question that I ask? First? Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. When do your parents become ill and needs 24 hour care? What do you do? I fly out. I fly out. Yeah. Yeah, we fly out. Yeah, that's what I do, you know? I. I'm not waiting for you, I fly out. Oh, yeah, but you might need my money. I have my own money. Sometimes. Sometimes. I got a savings. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go. Go ahead. Right. You need therapy, but you can't afford it. How do you save for it? I take your money little by little, or I just tell you, hey, babe, I need therapy. You need to pay for it. Mm. You okay. can't afford it. What do you do? How do you save for it? Uh, I call my brother. How do I save? How do exactly. I Exactly. How money? do you save it? How do you save it? Oh, I already have. I have a savings. Yeah. Period. I have a savings, too. Okay. Yeah. You only have $20 this week for groceries. How do you spend it? What are you buying? Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> Lots no, of no, 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 no. Let's, whole family. Let's, let's be real, okay? Yeah, let's be real. All right, if I have to survive for a whole week on $20? Yeah. Easy. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Money. That's, spaghetti. yeah. Spaghetti. You time spaghetti every night. If, yeah. if I had a $20 to spend for groceries, I'm buying canned food to make chili, mm -hmm. canned tuna, mm -hmm. and a bag of, like, rice. Remember, you're allergic to tuna. It makes you poop and stuff. Keep going. <laughs> Should an ex be allowed to come to family functions? Well, why would an ex be invited to a family function? Yeah, your technical ex probably can't play basketball, so he's not going to any of our functions. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that. All right, next question. Money comes up missing. You find out your mate is addicted to ordering from Amazon. How do you address it? Still dealing with that now. I can't. I'm not addicted to Amazon. I buy things with the purpose of using them. Listen, listen, For my listen. career. An addiction is like where something comes in every day, right? I see a package coming in every day. I attribute, it, I, I attribute that to have, having an addiction. No, it is just so much easier to buy things that get delivered to you rather than having to go to the store. What is an ideal date night? An ideal date night is uh, hmm, Kamara at home watching the kids, me going out with my boys. Going to get like some some really good food or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but if if I had to go on a date night if you, with if my you had to go if with I had me. to go with with Kamara, I really do like lobster or or steak. So like any type of um, uh, Brazilian barbecue or Brazil. I'm sorry, Brazilian steakhouse. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, well, what about you? I no longer have an ideal date night since you have to go with me. Um, yeah, my yeah, ideal, my ideal date night. Our date nights are very chill, and I like that. You know, yeah. casually walking through like mm -hmm. a downtown area trying to find a restaurant. Yeah, those are always the best ones. We find really mm -hmm. good restaurants. We did. What's an insecurity about yourself you've had to overcome? <laughs> One time. One time uh, one time, Amir made me, well, suggested, highly suggested that I grow out my leg hair because, you know, I'm just not comfortable with body hair. So mm -hmm. in order for me to get comfortable with myself, get comfortable with that insecurity of mine, he was like, no, you have to grow your leg hair out and just see it. Just see, like, see yourself. And I probably went, <laughs> I went a long time <laughs> without shaving my legs. I think it was like a month. Mm -hmm. I was full Chewbacca state. And I was like, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beyond, to be honest, I have, I have, I don't have supreme confidence in myself, but um, 
I have enough confidence to where it's, I don't really have that many insecurities. Like, I can't, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any, been any that I've had to overcome. I mean, that's an answer. Maybe. You're a cold body. Your mate is a hot body. How do you overcome these challenges? I feel like this is us. Yeah, this Amir is. always wants the heater on, and yeah. I want windows open. Yeah, so basically, um, the way it goes is, you know, we have a really warm comforter, and, <laughs> you know, at nighttime, she throws all the, sh the covers on me and so like I have two layers of warm comforter and I end up sweating <laughs> profusely and so that's how it goes when one is a cold body and the other is a warm body yeah we haven't reached a compromise yet <gasps> is that look is that Suli say hi say cheese hey cheese has, been, has there been a time when you felt unappreciated in your marriage oh heck yeah the other day Mir's talking about pull your weight some 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 dumb stuff yeah i mean like you know sometimes kamara complains about like how i didn't contribute to her hair growth and that like <laughs> it's really annoying because you know kamara is hold on. Kamara, hold, hold, on. On, hold on you 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 spoke and now it's no i'm turn. telling you you can't go in detail about this you, listen, you can't go in detail about this i'm not gonna go in detail all i'm gonna say is Kamara is an African is 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 technically African American, although it's contrary to popular belief. <laughs> and <coughs> and she when we got married, she didn't know how um, African American hair worked, and I had to help to educate her, which helped to you know you know provide uh, healthy hair. And uh, you know she doesn't she doesn't often you know appreciate what I've done for her and how much I've helped her life in that <laughs> regard. So, of course, I feel underappreciated in, in many aspects. And, you know, as you can see, hair is only a minute, like, small detail, right? So you can only imagine the amount of things I'm unappreciated for. Okay. Freaking liar. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever felt like you had to be a mind reader? in your marriage why or why not oh man kamar has this thing where she'll get upset and she she like won't say anything and she'll just go quiet right and all she she wants she wants me to go and ask her like oh what's <laughs> what's going on what's wrong what did i do right and it's like you know for me i'm like man i don't got time for this so you know, she, she basically wants me to, to read her mind. That's because you feel like you're too good to ask me what is the problem. That's because, but hold on, that is because most of the time there is no problem. <laughs> it's all in her head. So you it's gaslighter. Like, you so freaking like, gaslighter. So like, so like, so like <laughs> it's just, listen, oh my gosh. listen, it'll be the craziest thing. You are a and gaslighter. I'm so glad I have full confidence in myself, in my emotions, and in the things that I find to be annoying or, mm -hmm. or you know, just the, the, the things that make me upset. Okay, okay. Because eventually I tell you, after I calm down and mm -hmm. all the scenarios in my mind played out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I do feel like I have to read minds. Yeah. Because you never talk. Could you stay married if infidelity was an issue? If we were talking about in in like infidelity as in having haram relationships, like committing like you know adultery, I could not. But if we're talking about you you like had got a second wife behind my back, I could stay married. It would cause trust issues, but I could still stay married. But like a total haram relationship, that's a hundred percent no go. That's a see you later. See you later. That's a hundred percent. See you later. Yeah. Well, Kamar can't get a second husband, and <laughs> you know, infidelity is just also not in my book. You know, so she'd be a single hybrid. You know? Single hybrid. Yeah. Well, I see what you did there. What's a love? <laughs> What's a lovable quality about your mate? A lovable quality. Yeah. Hmm. She's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay first off you've never showed any type of public display like that i like that 
That's a level of quality. Did you ever have second thoughts about getting married? Um, I actually I didn't have second thoughts about getting married. Yeah, actually, I almost bailed the day before. Hundred percent. It was a week before, a uh, week exactly a week, because it was a Friday. He was yeah. not I was, communicating. I was, I was like, not this dude's trying that. to. This dude's was, trying to end things. I was about to end it, man, for real. All right. Does it matter if the wife makes more money? It doesn't. I'm supposed to answer it. Oh yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> Dang, we're really gonna go through all these. What has changed the most since you first met? Uh, for me, I guess certain qualities about myself have tapered down. You know, I was uh, turned up back in the day. You feel me? <laughs> but um, you know, I've definitely turned down, as they say. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, I think I have become more um, uh, vocal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely encourage that yeah, as well. Yeah, you did. I will mm -hmm. I will give you I will give you that. You definitely did. I almost went off on my boss mm -hmm. one day and I was like, mm -hmm. calm down, Amir. How long has a dis disagreement uh disrupted your relationship? Um Yeah. I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I mean, cuz we we definitely try our best not to go Oh, mm -hmm. no. In Michigan. Mm -hmm. What happened in Michigan? Uh, when we went out there, and mm -hmm. he, I said, help me clean up that room so I can sleep upstairs. Mm -hmm. And you were like, no, because my brothers are not going to be down here. And I was like, no, but I feel so much more comfortable. And then you're making this big old deal about it. And then his brothers ended up cleaning the room for me mm -hmm. because they're like, wow, Amir, like your wife wants to be comfortable. Let's let her, let's make her comfortable. And he was like, not even tripping about my comfort level. And then his brothers cleaned the room and they're more caring about my comfort level. So I was mm -hmm. like, I was mad at him for almost like three days. Yeah. And his mom was like, you can't be mad at him. You know, you guys mm -hmm. got to forgive each other. And I was like, Rashida, I have three days. Yeah. We're almost there. I mean, again, that's like, that's like something that went on all in her head. So like, and on on my side of things, I just, I was honestly not affected at all. I know you weren't affected because you weren't the one. It was your family. Yeah. Of course you weren't affected. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 you just got freaking <laughs> stuff on me, man. <laughs> you bothered me. You bothered me. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Let's 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 okay. just acknowledge. Okay, I, I apologize. Let's, let's, that was very impulsive. Let's, let's acknowledge the fact that, first of all, you guys just witnessed her aggressively spray me. Second, I will acknowledge that that was all, not the best response. She was she was upset about, um, you know, feeling like my brothers were going to be down in the basement, right? Mind you, I told her. They're not going to be sleeping down there. They're not going to really be down there, right? They were literally down there for like one day out of the entire two weeks that we stayed there. None of them slept in the basement ever. So we would have had oh, an entire basement, which features, what, three bedrooms, your own bathroom, a freaking living room, basically, with, you know, with a fireplace. And, you know, in, in my... In, in in my opinion, you know, if you if you're sitting down at a cozy fireplace with your wife, what's more, you know, what's more romantic than that? We're not diving into this story. Next okay. question. All right, let's see. Oh, you got a little bit of water on your face. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Man, I hope I don't have to call the cops about abuse. What if your mate becomes handicapped? Would you stay or would you go? I would stay. This is all. This is like a scenario that has played in my mind over and over, especially when you got that motorcycle. Mm -hmm. You know, like I almost convinced myself that I was like, "Thank you, get a motorcycle accident, he's gonna become paralyzed. Like I'm gonna need to go to work, I'm gonna need to take care of him." So yeah. I already have all the plans. Yeah, funny story. I never crashed my motorcycle, but I did crash my friends. Yeah. Yeah. We both crashed the motorcycle in the same place in a parking lot it was it was freaking wild yeah yeah crazy yeah. wait you didn't answer the question what will i stay with you if you got peril uh, yeah, yeah 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 something yeah i would <laughs> do you depend on your mate for direction <laughs> oh not at all <laughs> not at all i lose my car in a parking lot i definitely depend on me for she direction can't even drive at night <laughs> I can't if her, if her, <laughs> 
You're not talking about my nighttime If her phone is too track. dark, it's over for her. <laughs> Losing physical attraction to your spouse mean the end of your marriage? I don't think I could ever lose physical attraction. So, mm. my marriage is never going to end. Of, from that, at least. I'll plead the fifth. <gasps> <Are you okay? laughs> alright, alright. Okay, okay, I'm playing. <laughs> question again oh <laughs> if i'm ugly will you still love me <laughs> oh, of course man. She, you know at, at the end of the day uh marriage in islam is about you know more more than just attraction right mm -hmm. um and i feel like the qualities that she has as a you know as a not only as a um you know as far as attraction but also in her intellect and her islam are things that you know definitely are greater than beauty so yeah that was a great answer are you a hypochondriac nope you are i'm definitely one yeah. <laughs> i am definitely 100 percent, 100 percent. amir made me stop having to google things he said i'm not right. allowed to google things anymore it's friday it's the lights get turned off and you can't pay them to get and you can't pay to get them reconnected until monday how do you improvise hmm. go to nottis and edwards <laughs> That's not always a reasonable, I mean, not always a uh, um, a doable thing. Um, one way is to go to the dollar store and buy lights, you know. Mm -hmm. And you buy these lights. I mean, usually if you can't pay your bill, it's typically because of past due. Mm -hmm. So you may have enough to buy necessities like um, we have electric gas, I mean, electric stove, electric mm -hmm. fridge. So obviously that's going to cause issues. So we would have to go out and buy a, a freezer box. Um, like a little, you know, like the picnic kind. Mm -hmm. Ice, put ice in there for all our um, freezer and refrigerator items, mm -hmm. um, which is not that much. And then you have to think about lighting. So you have dollar store flashlights. So at most you're spending maybe about like $50 on everything to survive through the weekend. Forget that. How about this? You know, we, we eat out $50. You can use that on food. And then you just chill. Like, what do you need lights for? Like it's it's sunny for the most part. You know, for half of the day, it doesn't get dark till about 6, take a nap. It gets dark around like 5 o'clock. So from 5 all the way to sleep time, you would just chilling in the pitch no, black maybe, dark? Maybe it's not getting dark till 8. Like, I guess. I think but, so, but... I, I mean, like, like, so, like, how... Like, if we have... If we can't afford the the lights to go on, what do you think we can't? Like, we got $50. No, I'm telling you, this typically happens. Like, growing up, this scenario has happened to us before. Mm -hmm. And the bill was too expensive, which is why we couldn't pay it at that time. Mm -hmm. So what we did was gather the money that we had to buy things to protect our food for the weekend. Oh, okay. Um, and to use for lights. Because, turned out we weren't able to pay the bill on that Monday. Hmm. Yeah, I've never. The only, the only time, the only thing that happened to me was one day the the lights went out when I got home and no one was there. So I just I had to um, figure out how to uh, get in my basement because I knew that there was a bunch of freaking candles down there. And so I uh, I got like fifty candles and I put them all on my mom's wooden uh, Man. computer desk. Oh. And I just I lit all fifty candles, took a nap. <laughs> you took a nap with the candles lit? It was like it was like after a wrestling tournament or something and like That's all dangerous. the candles all the candles were lit and like they got home and they were like, You're crazy. Last so question. last question. Um your mate wants a popular hold on, eatery. Your, your your mate wants a popular eatery for dinner where there are always lines. Uh you say Uber Eats, how do you compromise? Well, we never have a disagreement about that. If there's a long yeah. line, it's typically Uber Eats. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It's usually Uber Eats over everything. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Yeah. Who That's waits true. in who waits in lines like free? Well, that was the end. That was a fun was game. Ninety nine questions for one great conversation. I definitely think that um 
Yeah, you got you get some. You get some it, it was a good. We had a good conversation, and we got some good laughs. We did. This was a great yeah. first marriage Monday of 2021. Is it the first? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The last mo- video was like five months ago. Don't forget to go and like subscribe. <laughs>